Alright folks, it's uh, Monday the 15th I think um, Short update on some progress uh, I wasn't going to bother doing anything to the the construction of the or the reconstruction of the box this evening but I thought bugger it, you know life's too short just get on with it Paul so here we have the lid top um, I'm fairly happy with the way things are progressing. Um, I'm happier with some things than I am with others, but uh, I'll just go through some of the uh, issues I've currently got with uh, the, the fitting of the lid. Um, as you can see, I got a, a countersunk or a countersink uh, drill bit, and I uh, countersunk both the lid and the trim uh, this evening when I got in from work. So uh, I'm pleased to announce that when I um, used the countersink it's made quite a neat job of it. I don't know if that's focusing at all. It doesn't seem to have broken, you know, um, it seems to do quite a good job in general every, on all the holes. Um, one or two of the holes are maybe slightly deeper than I would have wanted but um, by and by I'm pretty happy with what I've done um, I'll just set that back over there then now now uh, I've, I've fitted the, the lid to the, the lid frame here uh, that's not gone quite as well as I'd hoped um, you'll be able to see here that while the um, the plywood has stood up reasonably well, um, it you know in in so much it hasn't chipped away yet. There isn't a lot of material there, and I fully expect that to chip away at some point. So I might just go ahead and fit maybe you know ten mil um, mitre. 90 degree miter um, angle along here just to reinforce this um, edge and corner uh, in fact I, I would do that all the way around you know the, the top face anyway or the top surface um, cutting of the boards has been a little bit problematic in so much I don't have a saw capable of doing it and I borrowed a a cheap and cheerful table saw from a neighbour. Um, however, we have here one small chip. Um, I don't know whether to blame myself or the table saw or the materials. But if you can, I don't know how well the camera will pick it up. But it's not even a millimetre thick, the top layer of the, the ply board. So it's, it's very delicate. And I, I more lean towards the material rather than the the saw or indeed any carelessness on my part. Now one of the issues I'm not so happy with is that in the process of sanding uh, the paint away I've lost a, a portion of material from the, the frame and also the, um, the the box walls itself and you'll be able to see down here that the fit in this area is not very good at the moment. I'm going to improve upon this um, oh, looks. if I don't wreck it first of course but my intention is to improve upon this. Um, now, once this uh, trim is fitted into place, uh, I'll be better able to judge at what level the hinges will be fitted, which will indeed, which which will then support the the height of the the lid because at the moment it's sitting slightly lower than the trim 
Um, so there will be a, a gap along here. I'm I'm thinking once it's once it's uh, all adjusted up correctly, you know, it'll be more like this. But I'm okay with that. Um, I don't quite recall how big the gap was here. Um, probably not quite as large as that, but I haven't removed much material from from this uh, radius. And I don't think I removed that much from here either. Pardon my camera work, folks. Uh, this um, top surface may need to be a uh, plane down somewhat, more in line with this uh, corner here, so that there's a uh, sufficient clearance for the, the the lid to open and close um, correctly. So there needs a little, there needs to be a little bit of work done in in this area. Um, I also still have to cut the recesses for the hinge in both the um, the trim and the lid top. Um, and also fit the the reinforcing struts to both the the lid and the trim to, uh, the lid trim at the back here. Uh, now the 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 other or the second thing I'm not quite so happy with is on this side here. Uh, if I just um, talk about this here first, that there is reasonably flush. You know, all the way along here, and you know it's maybe sticking up a little bit proud there, possibly. But again, that will that can be adjusted when I fit the hinges. You know, it can maybe go in that way a little bit once the depending on how I how well I fit the hinge. Reasonably a flush all along here. But when I get to this end, uh, there's a couple, a mil, two mil overhang here, and then it's flush for a period, and then it starts to, there's a bit of a recess in here. So that suggests to me that this corner here isn't actually 90 degrees. Um, and there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I, I could remove these screws from the top uh, adjust this out slightly and then try to get the screws back in in a slightly different position but I don't think that's going to work that well um, I'd end up with a, a lip over here while well, currently that's flush um, so, yeah, I'm not so happy with the the fit on this side of the frame. But um, yeah, you know, it's it's an old box, and it's I'm just tarting it up. And once it's all back together, I'll get some. I'll 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 figure out what I'm going to do inside the the space. I you know how I'm going to. Uh, utilize the space inside the box to its maximum uh, potential. Um, I want to have not as many tools as possible within the box uh, because I want to keep the box relatively light to carry. It's meant to be a portable tool chest, remember. But I want to um, have a selection of tools with the uh, the max or the, the greatest potential or um, adaptability so I, I'd like to have multi-function tools is what I'm trying to say uh, contained within the box um, it's meant to be a carpenter's chest and I'm, I'm going to it's going to be more uh, for the, uh, you know working with wood that rather than metal but I, I will have some tools which will be multifunction, um, you know, nothing comes to mind currently, but um, might have a 
a hammer drill, for instance, with a selection of uh, steel drill bits, or um, which will be work equally well on wood or steel, or indeed concrete or whatever. Um, so yeah, um, I'll leave it at that now, folks. That's ten minutes already. Uh, I've still got to do the, the base here, although the box walls are sitting on the base, uh, it hasn't been marked out or drilled in any way yet. And um, I'll um, get round to that hopefully tomorrow evening if I'm not too tired. And then once that is fitted. I think this is what I'll, I'll do next. I'll do the, the base next and get that fitted. And I may get this varnished um, sometime soon. Not tonight. It's too late. It's, it's, it's coming up for 10 o'clock. Um, well, I'll maybe leave the varnishing until after I've done the um, the the hinge recesses, in fact. I'll leave it for that. So, um, yeah, that's about all for now, folks. Um, I've still got to do the the, um, the clips here. But again, that'll, I'll wait until the hinges are actually in place and securing the lid before I fit the, hinge, uh, the clips to hold the lid closed. So, yeah, um, that's all. Um, hope you're all well. And, yeah, I think this is going to look quite good when it's done. Thanks for watching. And until next time... Take care.